Yo boys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. I have a brand new video for you guys today. Uh, happy Sunday. Hope all is well with you, everybody, today. Anyways, uh, we're going to be starting off today's video uh, talking about basically the the current state of these New York cards and then talking about this week, what's going to happen with Team of the Years, uh, talking about projections for this week, projections for the following week, um, and things like that. If you guys enjoy the video, drop me a thumbs up. As always, um, very appreciative for all of you guys, man, and um, everything that you guys bring to this channel, man. It's very appreciated. Um, the streams, the videos, the love, man, the positivity. I freaking love it. Um, I feed off it. It gets me energized. So thank you guys to the people that come in here every single day with a good attitude, man, and just ready to go, man. No hate. I, I love you guys, man. You guys got to understand that. So anyways, uh, into the video today, FIFA focused. Um, your boy has been a trading machine and I'm not flexing, but I'm telling you guys, man, I've gotten some motivation really, man, the last few days. I don't know what it was. I think I lost a lot on the player of the month and I said, you know what? I'm going to go grind trading. So I've gone up about 800,000 transfer profit in the last two days. And it's all been off informs really or special cards that are less than 300,000. Um, 300,000 coins, which means the tax isn't a lot, which means I've literally made like if it's 800,000 TP, it's probably been 600,000 coins. So it's been really substantial. Um, these were all my overnight flips. These were cards that I have bought yesterday and I listed them overnight. I got Van Dykes yesterday at 347 and 350k. So that was a really, really nice flip. Um, Pjanic was at like 50. So a lot of these were on open bid. A lot of these were just in general trading with informs, learning the prices of one hour. And learning the prices that are nexus. A lot of these UCLs as well, uh, specifically Champions League cards, they fluctuate a ton. I don't know why, but Champions League cards really, really fluctuate um, a lot. You can get them on one hour really cheap, and the next hour they're really expensive. So it just you got to read into the trends. You got to figure out what's going on with certain cards at one hour and what, what's not going on at the other hours. So these are all the sales. A lot of sales, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of sales. We did really, really well, man, overnight. Um, other than that, there's only a few cars that I want. There's a few cars that I want to talk about outside of the newer cars today. Um, the first one being a ones to watch Goretzka. I picked up one or two. I'm, I haven't gone crazy, but I picked up one or two at like 220. I think 220 I picked them up at. Now, he's probably going to get team of the week. I looked into the ratings and all that. The only problem that I have with Goretzka is the fact that Witzel played really well as well. I think I, I think Witzel had a game winning goal, and I think Goretzka had two goals. I'm not, I'm not all that positive. Um, Though I'm not all that positive with like the whole load out of it all, but I think it's a little something like that. So I'm going to continue to watch uh, both of these beautiful men uh, and see if we can pick up a deal or through throughout the day. Because I do think with Team of the League predictions, a card like Greska, who is very meta in people's eyes, um, I think people are going to buy into him. I think. I'm not positive, but that's what I would assume. So I would think that a lot of people are going to start to buy into this Goretzka, Witzel wants to watch those kind of cards as the Team of the Week. Uh, predictions come out and people get hyped up, man. I think that's how usually how you see those cards uh, fluctuating. I haven't really seen that. The, the interesting thing with Gretzka is I haven't really seen many um, under 230. But when they are listed at 230, they don't sell. So I'm interested in that because I do think he's going to get a team of the week. And then Witzel's ones to watch, I think, is up a ton. From what I saw last night, he was like 100K. Where is he? So he's down at about 80K, right? 77, 80K. Let me see on flipping. Let me, let me get a price on flipping. So Witzel's at what? Witzel is at, let's see here. Witzel is 73K. And what's his price range? 110. So 73K, price range 110. Uh, yeah, so I mean, look, it, it, there's a possibility. He went to 83 at, at one hour yesterday. There's a possibility that these guys start rising up today, uh, you know, as the day goes on. Obviously, that's how once the watches work. People buy into the hype, and that's how they work, right? So if you do want to get in, I would say I'd be getting in this afternoon latest. Otherwise, the ship has sailed. Um, other than that, I talked about it on stream yesterday. I said the possibility that these newer cards, these, these future star cards, um, I really thought they were going to drop in value today and they started to, um, a lot of these cards started to go down today, which is a really good sign because honestly, these cards were really, really over overpriced. And what I've been saying the whole time is that they do have a lot of supply. And so I felt like they were overpriced. So I felt like at some point when the, when the market decided to sell these cards, um, that they were going to come down, which is, it's good to, it's refreshing to see almost guys, because you have to understand that these guys, if you look into the store, the pack weight on these cards is ridiculous. The, the amount of ch the chance that you can actually have to pack these cards, uh, in my opinion is way overload. So when I saw the prices of these cards, I was just like, bro, what? 
I was like, how are these cards this expensive? Especially a guy like Sancho, because if you look in the store at the ultimate pack um, value, you I think you have like a 5% chance of packing these out of an ultimate pack, which to me is really high. Um, that's a really high percentage, guys, like to be packing one of these dudes. So for me, the whole time here, I was sitting here thinking, why the hell are these cards so high in value if they're getting packed so much? And, and clearly... You're seeing now. I mean, I'll give you guys some examples. Foden was like 290 the other day. Now he's down at 218. Orar was like 970 still even yesterday. Now 885. Arthur was like 620. He's now 553. Uh, Arnold, I think, was like 570. He's now 525. Sancho's down a good amount. So you are seeing a price correction with these cards, which is good. The one card that I still don't understand um, out of any of these cards, the one card that I do not understand is this, man. I, I don't get this. So this brother is still 1.9 million, which to me is really high. Um, I know he's got a really good card, but to me, this is crazy, crazy, crazy high. And I think he's also like almost insta-selling. Um, so yeah, that's the deal with that. Um, let me pull up the Team of the Year squad real quick so we can talk about some Team of the Years. We'll also talk about Team of the Week in a second. So they're really low. And it's scary, I get it, because I know a lot of you guys bought Team of the Years and so did I. What can I tell you guys? In my opinion, we got unlucky. The fact that EA dropped a promo basically with 23 more Team of the Years or close to Team of the Years is just unlucky. If that promo didn't come this week, these Team of the Years would be really, really doing well. Um, but they're not. They're not doing amazing. You know, Neymar, I bought at 4.15. He's 4.3. He was 4.5 before this promo. You know, Ramos is 2.05. He was 2.4. You know, Varane is really low. I didn't sell my Varane, but I bought one at 1.65. He's 1.5. Um... You know, I packed this untradeable, but he's 3.8, and that was like 4.1. The only one that I've really seen significantly rebound since that panic the other day was Ronaldo. Ronaldo has significantly rebounded since the other day. Um, but you guys can see it, man. If you guys look on Flippin', like, they're low, man. And I can't even hide that from you guys. These cards are low. Um, I'm not going to play games here. Like, these cards are very, very low. And it's surprising to me. It's surprising to me that people are willing to put uh, these newer cards in front of these cards. It just, to me, doesn't really make sense. Um... It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. Like it, it, To me, I find it so interesting how people will play with these newer cards. But I'll tell you this right now, guys. What this shows to me, so we're on the same page. It shows me that people only care about the new things within FIFA. So when a new card drops, they only care about that. So I think it's really setback team of the years. And something I want to talk about in this video today is the fact that Lunar New Year um, is going to be in two weeks, which is sometimes a coin suck. It depends how you look at it. But Usually it is an event where there's two for one packs or there's half coin price packs. So a lot of people decide uh, to open up packs with coins. Um, and what you have is essentially people losing buy, buying power. People are losing buying power because when people open up packs with coins, they lose buying power. So I think the, the way or the route you guys want to go with Team of the Years, um, in my opinion, the route you guys want to go with Team of the Years is trying to just sell or flip your team uh by the end of this week or this upcoming weekend i do think the market's going to push back a little bit this week um push back up a little bit i think i'm not positive but i do think it should rebound a little bit obviously the meta past informs already went up this weekend but i'm talking like big boy team of the years that's the kind of market that i'm talking about right now um i think you're going to be fine with this i think this will get a bounce back but it's really tough to judge man it is really tough to judge you have a lot of these youngster players um that a lot of people want to go get their hands on and that's understandable. I think for me, guys, I got really caught up in thinking that Team of the Years would never go down because people are never going to use cards that are better. But I think it's different, man. I think a lot of people on FIFA don't really care. And I think a lot of people do want to go play with a Sancho that looks like this, even though he's got a three-star week from a 69 composure because it's their favorite player, right? And they'd rather play with this than a Team of the Year Mbappe because it's more relatable to them, right? Or something like that. I, I don't know. But that's what I'm starting to kind of come to terms with and be okay with. And I think that's something we all have to understand is that that is a thing and that new cards coming onto the game when your favorite players in team of the week you don't care you use him and i think that's this position that a lot of people are in right now i think they're just kind of using cards to use cards and i think we all have to be okay with that i think we have to understand that that's that's a realistic thing and we can all joke around about it but at the end of the day that's something that's going on right now right that people are willing to go sell team of the year mbappe to use sancho or that people are willing to go sell team of the year neymar to go use vinicius when you know, Neymar is 10 times better. I can guarantee that. Something that's really interesting that I wanted to put in the video today um, is the fact that Delict, this is really interesting to me. Delict is 570,000 coins, man. That's crazy. 
He's 570,000 coins. And the reason for this is because uh, they brought out a uh, SBC and he has a direct link to the SBC. So they brought out yesterday a, uh, what did they bring out? Where is he? Uh, Frankie de Jong. And he's a direct link to that SBC. So that's that's interesting for me. I was I was really interested when I saw that. Um, because you guys gotta understand, the licked before this SBC came out was like not expensive. He was like 400k, and he went up yesterday to 600 or something. He's now he's now 560, so it's leveling out a little bit. What it reminds me of with, is uh, Hulk with Pato. Um, Hulk went up a ton with Pato, and then over time, it kind of just levels and levels and levels. So you can expect the lick to stay high in value a little bit this week. You also a lot of Ajax players um, in this thing. What I want to look at really quickly is Tagliafico. Where is that in value? So Tagliafico interests me a lot. Wow, he's 40,000 coins, huh? Yeah, he's 40,000 coins. Shows you what links do, guys. 40,000 coins. So he's gone from 24 to 40K. That's a, that's an impressive rise. As far as Team of the Week goes, guys, um, I want to give you guys two shouts because usually the guys stay into this part of the video. Uh, or some might not, I wouldn't say like more loyal audience, just guys who like really want all the juice and want all the information, which I am cool with. Watch out for Draxler and Pepe. Um, I'll tell you about those two right now. I'm, I'm liking those a lot. So the reason why I like those is because there's a weekly objective out right now. And you basically can't use any teams outside of the league on or the MLS. There's not many teams you could use to win that objective outside of those two. So what I would say to everybody watching the video so this is what i've been saying and i picked up like 10 of them just so you guys know so this guy right here right earn an untradeable foot future stars can't use icons english one spanish one italian one germany one so you've got that you've got that going on correct so the thing that i looked at was this so draxler's in the team of the week and he's going to be desirable because he's new people are going to use him for the objective because he's easy to hybrid as well he's a german so you can hybrid him so what did I figure out about this guy? Well, I looked at the card and I said, wow, this is a really good card. I was like, yo, this is six foot two, four star, four star, high low work rates. Um, everything is good on this card except the balance. So I was like, all right, this is a really good card. Like, so how are people gonna use this in their team? And I looked around and this is what I found, right? This guy from team of the week, man, this this dude right here, I have one in my club. You, this is, you can strong link this guy to this dude. And I think a lot of people are gonna go for it because I was looking around I was like, okay. So, cause this is the thing, you guys gonna understand, screening R, flew with Versalco. That's what I want you guys to understand. Screening R went from 35 to 56k because of Versalco team of the year because that was a weekly objective. And they start going up when the people get the objective. So people the reason why Pepe is not inflated right now is people don't have the objective yet. It doesn't make sense. There's nobody who has the objective. But if people want to use this player, I mean, tell me what you could do outside of that, outside of using that. You'd, you'd basically have to use a league on team or a super sub. Because look at what's Portuguese in league on, right? Go to concept players. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. What? So let's go. Let's go league on and let's go for Lille. You know, let, let let's see what's on that team, right? This is the best player, and he, and he's the he's literally in the position next to him. So that's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking that's a really good look for you guys to make some coins this week. Um, and so I bought a bunch of him at what? 39k. He's like 40k right now. So 39k I paid. So that's where we're at, guys. Um, and that's the state of the market. That's what I'll be buying. That's what I'm interested in. Let me know if you guys have comments. Put them in the questions down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.